What's up guys, your boy a lot of girth back. This time I'm gonna be going over the unboxing and uh, what I think about this Xbox Series S. I've already started to open it. I uh, just decided to make a quick video for you guys to see what it's like in here before you buy it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like this video um, to follow along with everything going on in the world of a lot of girth. So off top, the biggest difference, <clears throat> first of all, is the size. This thing's very small. Um, extremely small. Smallest Xbox system to date. Um, right off the top, I really like the speaker looking area. I think that's a vent for the fan. Um, biggest difference apart from the size of the console is going to be the memory, the storage inside the game console. Um, this is a 512 gig, but I was able to get a uh, one terabyte expansion card. So technically I have 512 more gigs than the standard Xbox One X just with this expansion card. Comes out to about the same price, probably a little bit more actually. And uh, another big difference is this the Series 1S, it has no disk drive. It's all digital. Everything's going to be ran off online purchases and Game Pass. Um, you have a slot for your storage expansion there. You connect your power cord, HDMI, you know, everything else you're going to need. Um, so there's that. I haven't actually plugged it in yet, obviously. I'll, I want to kind of see... Uh, I can get a video made real quick of uh, what's actually inside. I'm gonna be setting it up and probably posting some more videos with the games and stuff. Let's see what we got back here. We have our high speed HDMI cable, power cord, and a uh, product guide. Here we got the controller. Let's see what the hype is about these new controllers. Don't need that. Let's see. Nice. So we got the all white controller to kind of uh, match the system. It's got the new style D pad. New buttons up here. Seems to have a little bit different grip. Yeah, see it's kind of uh, gritty. It's a better grip. Uh, see uh, the C adapter charger there. Plug it in. Nice little controller. Pretty pretty standard. Um, the battery is a little bit different. That's pretty much all that's in here. Going over the expansion pack. This expansion pack was, uh, I don't know, like an extra 200 bucks, but it's all going to be worth it. Uh, I don't know how I feel about not having the HD, the HD with this one because I know the uh, Xbox One X plays games in all HD. It's another one of the big differences here is this plays it in like 1440. Which is not HD. I'm sorry, 14, 4K. So the Xbox One X plays the plays everything in 4K. This the Series S is in 1440. Uh, it's not that big of a deal for me because I don't have a 4K TV. I just I have just a standard Vizio smart TV, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Um, and I've got kids, so in the past I've had games get scratched up and messed up before I can continue playing them. So it's cool to have a digital system. It's cool to have it be so small. It's pretty much gonna fit wherever I need it. Very compact, yet still powerful. Uh, it still is gonna, uh, it's still gonna be, it has all the same games. It's built on the same platform as the One X, but it's just, as a Series X, I'm sorry, but it's just, uh, in my opinion, a, a better system for the price. You're saving 200 bucks and then, uh, uh, you spend whatever on your expansion pack or whatever. You might not even need the expansion pack off the top. I just got, I have it because of, uh, it's, you know, 512 kind of fills up pretty quickly. But f 
for the average person that 512 will last a while so that's what i think about this guys I, I, i'm gonna be posting more videos as i play it and download games maybe post a video on how this thing works and uh but yeah man from everything i've been reading and everything i've uh, seen even what others say is this is kind of the preferred system over the series x just because of the extreme bulk uh of the size difference it's like i believe uh, microsoft said this system is 60 percent smaller than the series x that, that's significant that's huge it's, it's less than half the size um with just as much power for the average person i mean i guess, like i said the biggest difference is going to be the 4k but uh, it's still a significant significant upgrade from uh, the last system and i think i'm good with this for now so let me know what you guys think. If you're thinking about getting one of these or if you actually have one, if you've played both systems, what's the biggest difference? I've talked to people who've got PS5s and uh, went from uh, playing this to, to playing the PS5 who have both consoles who are actually saying this is the superior console. Uh, and this is a uh, very underrated console. I had to get my hands on one. Um, so anyways, guys, take care. I hope everyone's well. God bless. And like I said, please subscribe to my channel. Take care, guys. Out.